Hi, hello, uh, Dmar Turtle Marlow here, back again with some Shaman King. We are at volume 10, so we are about, well, we're almost a third of the way to the end, which that's, we've been keeping a decent pace so far, so I've been keeping the twice a month quota, hopefully we'll keep it that way at minimum. Anyway, so last time, uh, Yo and Franz defeated Ren's father, Tao En, and they went to the uh, shaman fight thing, and they they were on a patch airline, which was actually an oversold that they deactivated over the United States of America. So, and all the participants have to go find the Patch Tribe headquarters in the U.S. They have, I forget how long, but they have, a few, I think they have a few months before they have to, like, actually find it, but it's going to be a challenge, so let's get to it. Nine chapters this time. An arrow straight road as far as the eye can see. Which way is the Patch Village? Who knows? We not even be we may not even be in the right part of the country. No, we're in the United we may not even be in the right country. No, we're in the United States, all right. Look, this is the historic Route 66, the Transcontinental Highway, the cradle of American 1960s roadside culture. Whoa, we're on the famous road. I can't believe it. Here it is, ever, my lord. Well, for all we for all we know, this is another part of the patch of traps. No sweat. Me and Amara can help with this. I will look for a city from the sky. Thanks. Whoa. Recognition eighty one. Route sixty six turbo. No city lights anywhere. We still don't know which way to go. I seem to be worthless of late. Hmm, stop for it, guys. There's only one thing to do in a situation like this. What? Well, <laughs> just watch. Come on, Tokikaro. We need some my legendary hitchhiking technique, the jumbo thumb over so. Cheat! Need a ride? We'll hop in. Wow! I saw it, the colossal shining thumb of his right hand. He must have been the legendary hitchhiker. According to Billy, we're headed toward LA. He's gonna drop us off at the nearest town. We're lucky someone happened to come along. It wasn't my luck, my thumb summoned him. If we're lucky, we fall into the, under a road, too. We haven't seen any other shamans in the plain. If they fell into those mountains, they're in big trouble. <laughs> then you believe that luck is a part of success? The patch can be rather cruel. I don't know how. The chief can be laid... I don't know how the chief can be laid, laid back, even now. Do do do, gonna reload. There we go. <laughs> this is pretty cool, huh, me tomorrow? Ah. Endless road and a sky full of stars. So this is the American West. It is truly magnificent. Are you not worried, Yodono? Huh? We've been dropped into this vast, unfamiliar land. And now we must wander, not knowing what awaits us. That's okay. We'll find out soon enough. Right now, it, feels kind of, it kind of feels good to be racing into the great unknown. It's an adventure. Thanks a lot, Billy. Take good care of your wife, okay? You betcha. Good luck to you, Legendary Hitchhiker. Ooh, it's noon already. How many miles did we cover? Huh. Yonte Fay, where authentic in American Indian culture still lives on. Good. Let's talk to the locals. The Patch? Never heard of. Doesn't ring a bell. Are they a real tribe? Why, it's my favorite brand of paper towel. One wipe and those Kenton sparkles. 
The patch, huh? I don't think there is such a tribe. There's gotta be. Look, I'm a professional ethnologist. I can tell you about the Apache, the Navajo, the Iroquois, the Dakota, the Mandan, the Hatsat, the Papago, and the Zuni. If there are a tribe called the Patch, I'd have heard of them. Are you sure this Silva isn't pulling your leg? What's what's going on? The Patch aren't Indians. Who the heck are they? Is this some kind of hoax? Wait. The Patch were mentioned in an old Seminoa folk song. Seminoa. About 500 years years ago, before the white man came, the Seminoa tribe was suddenly, mysteriously wiped out. There are only a handful of them around today. Anyway, here's the part about the patch. I'll read it to you. The Song of Doom on the 182,621st night, they came with a comet. They called themselves emissaries. They raced over the fields and flew through the sky with their great wisdom and beckoned the braves to a celebration. But none of the braves returned. Our lineage of spiritual power will soon die out. The strangers called themselves the Patch. Beware, lest the evil devour you as well. What, what the? The Patch of Evil? I see. 182,621 nights is exactly 500 years. Years, including leap years. You can't call you quickly, my lord. It's a shot of fight every 500 years. The last one would have been just about the time the seven over destroyed. I think we should assume the Patch are indeed evil. Wait a minute. The Patch evil? You think the almost tribe destroyed the Seminoa? That's what the song says. This is crazy. If that's true, then we're in serious danger. Hey, what's that? What's all this mean? I don't know. Well, there is something you can do. There's a woman on the outskirts of town who's supposed to be of Seminoa blood. Her name is Lily Rara. She may be able to tell you more. Okay, I'm not ready to condemn Sylvie yet. It's still possible that this is some trick of Howe's. There's only one way to know for sure. Jeez, he almost seems eager. Ah, uh, the day is finally arrived. The Patch intend to subvert the shaman fight and take over the world. To the, that end, they've assembled shamans from around the globe. I have to stop them. We must never allow the tragedy that befell us to be repeated. We have to stop those boys, my Seminole warriors. We're walking into who knows what and you're yawning? Huh? I haven't slept since we got there. You slept in the back of the truck. <laughs> you can't handle jet lag. That's because you've had, had an easier life than me. You peasants can sleep anywhere, huh? What, what did you say, pointy hen? How about I stab you with it? Excuse me. You must be participants in the shaman fight. Go home. I am Lily Rara of the Seminoa. I won't allow anyone to aid the Patch in their evil plan. Go home or I'll have to kill you. The Song of Doom, 500 year old memories. Huh? Just the one we're looking for. How'd you know who we were? What do you mean you'll have to kill us? I am a Seminoa medicine woman. Nothing is hidden from my gaze. A medicine woman? An American Indian shaman. She is one of us. A shaman? You've probably heard about the Seminoa Song of Doom. That song speaks the truth. Why would you want to continue? Why? We can't believe, just believe everything we hear. First of all, Silva doesn't seem evil to me. Yeah, you're a liar. Kaleem's, Kaleem is what? I trust him. You bet I do. <laughs> what an annoying woman. I don't care who you are. I'm going to be Shaman King. Step aside or suffer the consequences. Ren, the Shaman King. Pitiful. You think you're pursuing your dreams with the patch? An evil patch who deceived you. A staff? Very well. You'll have to learn the hard way. You'll experience as the Seminoa did 500 years ago at the hand of the patch. The rendering of your minds and bodies. Whoa. Wooden dolls are being attacked by souvenirs. <clears throat> Oversouls made from dolls. 
It would take more than that. I won't even need my oversoul for this. Yeah, Ren, you get him. <laughs> Don't underestimate them. You haven't seen what my Kanachi dolls can do yet. A ghost. Ren, look out. Do it. Wow, what was that? My arm is alright. Was it an illusion? But the pain, the pain was real. You felt the pain the Seminole warriors suffered the last time of the last shaman fight. You, ex you shared their experiences in a vision. My Seminole magic allows me to send visions directly in into your minds through my ghosts. A vision. I see. They integrated with us and their memories flooded our minds. Memories from 500 years ago. These warriors were in the last shaman fight. But what exactly happened 500 years ago? Would you like to see for yourselves? The longer the ghosts remain in contact with you, the more vivid the visions become. I can show you the evil patch they saw. However, the shock of it could drive you mad. I'll risk it. I want to see this with my own eyes. You're brave. Then witness what the patch whom you trusted at that time. Behold the tragedy of 500 years ago. I can send visions directly into your minds through my ghosts. Here we go. Behold and transcend the barriers of time. I make a vision memorial. Air condition 83, destroyer stands waiting. What's this? The Lucky Mountains, 500 years ago. You're reliving the memories of my Seminole warriors. That's the that's the voice. We're in their memories. Each of you four will experience the memories of a different warrior. Their names are Ian, Nitzva, Treza, and Jofia. They are traveling to their deaths in a showdown with the evil Patch. Their deaths? Then the Patch did kill them. Yes, the Patch appeared to all the world shamans out of nowhere and told them the tale of the Shaman King. They invited the Seminoa to their Shaman fight. We believe that with the power of the Great Spirit, we could turn the world into a paradise for all. But for better or worse, our warriors discovered the Patch's true intent. True intent? They wanted to create a Shaman Empire in which the most powerful Shamans would rule the planet. Ah. Uh. Shaman Empire? It's true, the Patch said. Humans will one day destroy this world unless we destroy them first and make a world of the world our own. The per true purpose of the Shaman fight is to gather the greatest Shamans to forge our Shaman Empire. Destroy the humans? But that's a lie. Silva would never try to destroy mankind. He's a nice guy. He taught me how to make an oversaw. He never do something so evil. I'm with you. Anyway, the patch is too poor to be corrupt. Yeah, Kaleem's ugly. Everyone knows that ugly guys have good hearts. <sighs> You're so naive. But this Silva could have taught you the oversaw so that you could be more useful to him, no? No matter. You'll soon see for yourselves. Behold, the man who stands before you. The evil patch himself. Silva? No way. This is 500 years ago. But it looks just like him. They're both patched. This man could have been Silva's ancestor. But let's see what happens. How dare you deceive us and all the shamans of the world? The shaman empire? Ridiculous. You made a big mistake when you... You tried to get us to join you. The Seminole will never be your allies. We will foil your evil plan. <sighs> you should have obeyed me when you had the chance, fools. Now your marvelous Seminole spells will be lost. <sighs> you, Orohoro. Their ghost memories end there. Nitzva and Jofia must have been killed instantly. <laughs> that evil patch must have been good. With one strike, you took out three of us. But why? 
What's he doing here? Ren! <clears throat> He's so strong, he outclasses all of us, but is he really a patch? How can he kill people so callously? <laughs> now it's just you and me. Don't be so afraid, I'm not angry. You still have a chance to cooperate. Never! We Seminoles will never help you. A futile show of defiance from one puny tribe in this vast universe. You are inconsequential. <laughs> the memories end there. Since humanity survived, it's clear that the patch was somehow thwarted. But his last words were passed down in our tribe. I am the future king. I will rise again in 182,621 nights. Now you know the truth. Turn back before it's too late. Hey, did you see that? Yeah, I got a ghost just before he got me. It was the spirit of fire. He looked a little different, but it was definitely Howe's Oversoul. Hmm? What the heck's going on? He was all grown up, but it was him. What the heck was Howe doing there? How? What are you talking about? He's come back to life. He's in the shaman fight. What? Darn it. I don't get any of this. Is he a patch or not? Wait, that was 500 years ago. Maybe that guy was Hao's ancestor. No, it was definitely Hao's own oversoul. Lily Rara, now we have more reasons to keep going than ever. We all want to get to the bottom of this mystery. I'm sorry, Lily Rara. You have to let us go. No, I can't let you go, no matter what you say. Why not? We've already met Hao. He's a kid who's in the shaman fight. We can't quit now. If that's true, then you know to beware of him. He is very powerful. If you keep going, you will die or become his slaves. But I can't defeat the patch, but I can stop those who are about to be deceived. Please understand, this is my mission in life. It is the only reason for my existence. Rare Condition 84, Lilira has fate. Lilira? You can't fathom how I feel. Because I was born a Seminoa, I was never allowed to have dreams of my own. I have only to fulfill this duty. It makes me cry just thinking back to the days of my training as a medicine woman, forced to watch that tragedy over and over. If you felt their pain, please don't let their deaths be for nothing. She looks so sad. So we go on, so if we go on, they die for nothing, eh? Well, that throws a wet blanket at everything. Should we go after her, Master? No, she won't change her mind. Darn it, what are we supposed to do? What happens to my dream now? <laughs> you guys give up too easy. We saw the whole thing. Are you sure you have the guts to win? You should have put the screws ears to her and made her tell you where the patch village is. That ever occur to you? Who are you? Some people are still on the uptake, huh? Let's not squabble, we're all in the same dumpster. Oracle pagers. You're not the only ones looking for this for the patch village. But this is a lot of time and effort. We'll find out where the patch village is. You'd better talk, lady. Your tricks won't work on us. No, I don't think my visions would work on you. Your minds are too small and degenerate for that. Why, you witch, hold it. She doesn't want to help us. That's her right. We'll have to figure out some other way to find the patch village. You cocky little punk. You think you're just going to let her walk away? Darn, what about my dream? My grand dream. My glorious dream. What about my dream to make a huge field of butterbur? <laughs> but butterbur? going to figure out how to achieve it. I need you guys, and I don't need you guys interrupting me. Who are these wimps anyway? I don't know how... Oh, but... So, oh, they met in the shaman fight. The sissies. <laughs> Butterbur? Huh? Hey, sorry, Horror. I didn't mean to laugh at your dream. I didn't expect it to be so provincial. I don't know what to say to that. I never laughed so hard in my life. <clears throat> She's gloomy again. <laughs> I'm sorry, my dream doesn't impress you. 
I really like your dream, Horo Horo. Your Butterbur field will create a beautiful re environment. All happiness is built upon small efforts. Uh, you wouldn't be have been looking if you'd just smile a little more. Don't worry, he's not interested in you. <laughs> You're all so much fun. I envy you. You have something I'll never have. I'm bound to the past and unable to see the future. You have the ability to believe in your dreams. You have inner strength. You can spend the night here. I'll tell you everything I know about the patch in the morning. Huh? Yeah! Hooray! Uh, was this the right answer? Who knows? Perhaps not. But watching them, I begin to think that things could work out. They're filled with promise. They even seem to understand our pain. Whew. There's still so much work to do. Not for you, Lutherara. The purpose of your existence is over. I can't have you getting in the way. Rest now. <clears throat> then they were telling the truth. What are you doing here in this age? Who are you? What are you? How? The future king. The future king. 500 years ago, of course, I was a patch. But then the circle of reincarnation continues. Now I am the future king. Used to be. Then you were the evil patch. E murder What what the what happened? We finally found the Rara's house to get revenge for yesterday and Mr Little Lake, Mana nine seventy, Savage Pain Savage Pan, Mana ten twenty, Green Grand, Mana eight fifty one, Amateurs. They're not useful they're not useful, not to me. Or to the earth. Uh, he's spirit of fire, one of the five great nature spirits that Patch control alone can control. His flames can consume anything. Flesh, bones, even souls. Ashes to ashes, Lily Rara. The, the other Patch were never evil, only I was. I became a Patch so that I could command him. All I could do... All so I could exact my revenge on mankind. And once I've won the Shaolin fight, I won't merely be the future king. Hey, what's wrong, yo? It felt like Lutheran just called my name now. Huh? What are you talking about? We just left your place. Besides, she's a shaman. If she had a message for us, she'd send a ghost. We have a long way to go. Keep moving and moving or we'll leave you behind. Okay. Yeah, we covered a lot of miles today. Thanks to my big, big thumb over cell of over 200 miles. Yeah. Hey, I pay for this roomy freeloader. Don't get coffee with me. What a journey, and this was only day two. I have no passports and not much money. We managed to exchange a little cash today. But I get the feeling that the patch wants us to solve our problems with, with shamanic power. Are you still worrying? After all we've been through, you're still weak. Yeah. I just can't stop thinking about him. How? Oh, it's not hard. It's hard not to think about him. Yeah. Goldva and the officiants must know about how and what happened 500 years ago. They must have the reasons for allowing him to take part in the fight. I guess we won't know until we get there. This shaman fight is getting stranger and stranger. A shaman empire. <laughs> mean house dream? Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to stop him. <clears throat> Shamans or not, we're doing our best to live good lives. It's selfish to want to destroy everything. Well, that won't be a problem if I become Shaman King. Give me my prop. Give me my props. You thank me first, huh? That's odd. It's pointing that way again. But it was pointing this way yesterday. It shifted. Did she go on holiday? Oh well. I'll find it eventually. My pendulum will lead me. To someone who knows about the Patch Village.
Yeah, hey guys. According to this map we got from Lily Run, we're 200 miles north of Yontefe. Hey, who made you the boss? I did. What? We're all traveling the same path, so we need a leader. A leader? Well, a leader is certain undesirable members will, will make steam fall apart. What are you looking at? Naturally, I'm the most suitable because this isn't my cup of tea. Liar, you galloped through town on horseback. And since you two are weaklings, that should please you. We would rather have you on our leader than you. 125 miles from here, at the foot of the Lucky Mountains is Durango. That's the location of the Patch Villa. The Seminole Warriors were headed for 500 years ago. It's probably not there anymore, but there may still be some clues. So let's set out on another day of adventure. Yeah, let's go on. Hold on. Would you take me with you? What the? Huh? Hello. Hello. Who are you? Kind of pushy, aren't you? Oh, sorry, I didn't introduce myself. I'm Lars Bergdiesel. I'm 14 years old and I'm from England. My specialty is dowsing. My fairy, my spirit now is a fairy named Morphia. My goal is to become the greatest detective in the world. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm a bit, you seem a bit shy or you're just cautious. Stop that! What are you thinking? He's our enemy, like all the other shamans. Detective or not, he looks weak. There won't be any benefit from having him around. What? He's a guy? Yeah, see? Wah! Yo, something's not right about this guy. He could be an agent of house. Let's leave him. How? So, so, I doused my way here. I just happened to bump into you a lot. Doused? It's a kind of divination. Have you ever seen it on the telly? It's usually used to locate underground water or mineral deposits. Nowadays, it's used by doctors to find diseased organs and by police to find missing persons. A person's sixth sense transmits motion into a pendulum or rod through inflammatory muscles. But that's not how I do it. I integrate morphia with the pendulum to make my oversoul. My divination powers are enhanced for her help. Essentially... It's rather like a Japanese kokuri board. What a fancy looking spirit. Kind of on the dinky side, though. I was searching for someone who knew about the Patch Village and Dowsing led me to you. Huh, but what about Ilirara? Uh, see, this guy's a fraud. Let's go on no, ditch. Mm. You're not nice. My Dowsing never misses its mark. Unlike you, I'm both smart and stylish. I'm also rich and strong. I'm suggesting that we help each other. Be wise to let me join you. Oh, are you looking for a fight? I know. Why don't I prove it to you right now that I'm the strongest shaman here? My pendulum will tell us everything. Huh? See? That's not fair. Your spirit's doing it. Does he think we're stupid? Or her? what are you doing? Shut up, you. I'm going to reduce the number of our enemies by one. You want to fight? Will you let me join you if I win? Stop it, you two. Knock it off. Uh, for you definitely won't be joining us. Sorry. But I have ally. But I must have allies. Ha! Do you think you can get me with a weapon that little? Maybe this will knock some sense into you. The Nipo the Nipopo punch. Wow, your spirit creates ice? It's coming after me. That's my homing pendulum. What if you integrate it with my pendulum? Will ch my pendulum will chase you to the ends of the earth. I told you, my dowsing never misses its mark. Uh, we'll see about that. Disc, disc. Well, fear is much too quick for that. Horo, horo. Then I'll beat you down, wire and all. You down, wire and all. A pendulum over so is an interesting idea, but the farther away it gets from you, the more exposed you are to danger. I'm cutting in, Horo Horo. That's alright. My dowsing will find its mark anyway. Ugh. Uh, what the? The oversoul is along the 
The entire length of the wire. Ugh. <sighs> you chaps got lucky. You're lucky you didn't have to fight me in the preliminaries, and I went easy on you. And I went easy on you. I've destroyed your weapons. You can't interfere anymore. If this would have been the prelims, you would have certainly lost. What the heck? He beat Hor Ren and Hor-Hor like they were nothing. He... He may look like a girl, but his power is incredible. Now, you've seen what I can do, but it's not that I'm super strong. You probably have as much bond as I do and more strength. Strategy makes all the difference, which is why I need... That's enough. Chief, I think I'd let you join us after you hurt my friends. I don't care what your story is anymore. I'm taking you to the hospital now. If you get in my way, I'll show you no mercy. Chief, oh, I rather expected you to attack me. Oh well, but I'm afraid I'll have to fight you anyway. There are reasons why I've got to have allies. Ren, Horo Horo, you guys okay? Mm, of course. Yeah, it's nowhere near enough to knock me out. Horo Horo is not cold, though. Oh, pathetic. You'd better lie down, Ren. Keep up. Shut up. Keep out of this. I have some I'm avenging to do. No, you idiot. This fight won't get us anywhere. You will, will help you, and I'll carry Horror Horror to the hospital. I'm afraid not. Don't you ignore me. I'm pretty strong, but I'm still weak compared to him. That's why I must have allies. Ally strong enough both mentally and physically to defeat him. <laughs> Your dowsing still has a long way to go. At this rate, it's going to take you a long time to become a great ma a great detective like me, Liceberg. Um Father, where did you hide my birthday present? Don't be silly, I'll have an proof I'll give you the answers. But don't please don't do Please, dear, don't torment him. He's only six years old. You mean already six already six years old? You wasn't Molly Colonel the boy. The earlier we begin his shamanic training, the better. It's my duty to pass my skills on to him. He descends from an illustrious line of dowsers. See here, that's what murderers run rampant these days. Detective skills alone won't can't penetrate the darkness of the human heart. Our powers must be handed down to future generations. Yes, dear, don't you have to be on your way? Oh, yes, I'm working on a one case today. Haha. <laughs> Listen to your mother and keep practicing. I will. My father, Liam Deathel, was, was the greatest detective in the world, a dowsing master and my idol. There was nothing he couldn't find, and I wanted to be like him more than anything in the world. After much effort and study... I was able to finally able to develop my powers. I ran home in high spirits only to find the spoken corpses of my parents and him. Who who are you? What have you done to my parents? F fools. They died because they wouldn't promise to help me in the shaman fight eight years from now. Incredible. Everywhere I go, amateurs. Wait, stop, don't ignore me. Such amateurs. But I was still too weak. I need allies to defeat him. Allies both physically and mentally and physically powerful. But I have to put them to the test. Chief, look out. He's going to do something. Yes. Homing pendulum. Liesberg, I warned you that I'd show you no mercy if you got in my way. I'm not even going to fight you. I'll end this with one blow. Ridiculous. My pendulum will chase you down. Then I should go ahead and strike and can head on. When Amita Mara was a samurai 600 years ago, he was called the Fiend. This is nothing for him. <sighs> See that, Mosuke? I'm, use I'm useful again. You okay, Horo Horo? Uh, good morning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's the chief for you. My ho- what? My hoeing pendulum. He defeated it so easily. Perhaps... He is strong enough to stand up to how? He, this is brilliant. I was looking for the patch village, but I found a powerful ally instead. But we're just getting started. 
This fight isn't over yet. You won't let me join you unless I win. Now I'm going to get serious. Air condition 88, remember it's Big Ben. Hey, he's still back there. Tenacious punk even carries a spirit pendulum. <laughs> he's taking quite a liking to you. What now, yo? It doesn't matter. It'll be the same thing, no matter how many times he tries. I'm not taming up with a guy who hurts my friends. Let's go find a hospital, guys. It won't be the same. This crystal pendulum that my father gave me is much more powerful than a cheap glass knockoff. It won't be the same at all! Whoa! What the heck? He's lost it! Master, that pendulum! It's much faster than it was before. Of course it is! Crystal conducts more spiritual power than any other substance. You can't escape it now. You'll have to find me whether you want to or not. Uh oh. This guy is big. This guy is big trouble. Whoa! He, he's rewinding the wire and hauling himself through the air. I told you, you can't escape me, and I'm not just putting on a show for you. This is the position from which I unleash the most devastating technique of mine. Take this, Big Ben Wireframe. <laughs> what? The wire is taking shape. It's. A huge. It's a huge clock tower, like a wire cat's cradle. Big Ben, the clock tower built in London in 1859, and the place where I claimed my pendulum. This, the whole thing is a weapon and a shield. The oversoul on the, on the wire can't be severed as long as I hold the pendulum. I'm throwing every inch of my wire at you. Now will you fight me? No, I won't. What the? Wah! Amita style? Halo Blade! <sighs> what happened? For an instant he seemed to be how? How did he beat my Big Ben wireframe? I should be stronger than any of them. Why? I can't let myself lose to anyone. You lost because you're weak. You're probably the weakest shaman here. Ren and Horahura must have let their guards down. What? My dowsing never misses. Then why did you lose? Lysberg, who are you really fighting? Huh? What? You know, we know you have skills, but even a strong oversoul can become weak if you falter mentally. You never intended to fight us seriously. You have another enemy in mind. You lost this battle to him. So? So what? What does it have to do with you? Is that why you didn't want to fight me? What happened to you isn't my problem. You tried to use my friends. That's payback for your selfishness. Now I'll listen to your story at the hospital. Darn, this isn't funny. Why'd you let that guy join us? I don't like it. You're making it. You're not making it easy for me to stop the bleeding. Calm, da calm down, calm down, Listen to his story before you make up your mind. Huh? Are you crying? It's nothing. Just hear him out, okay? Uh, what a tragic tale. I can't take it. Come here, you poor English orphan, you. It's okay. I've caused you a lot of... I've caused you a lot of enough trouble. Huh? I heard... I heard you and Renkun and broke your weapons. I couldn't... I didn't explain my reasons for testing you. I didn't realize what I was doing until you couldn't beat me. My mind was clouded by your revenge. That's... That's why I lost. I don't deserve to join you. Recognition 89. Family resemblance. I'll pay your hospital bills. You can use the rest to repair your weapons. I hope I hope it's enough. Oh, wait. Hey, Liceberg. Your queen made us see the truth. So you see the truth. I have to beat Howe myself. I can't rely on others. Somehow I have to make myself stronger. Goodbye and good luck with your dreams. Wait, Liceberg. Hey, being selfish again. Renkun. Yo said you could join us. I don't really like it, but Yo is our leader and I'll b abide by his decision. I'm sorry, but I can't involve you in my pursuit for revenge. We owe how one too. You do? It's incredible. 
I must have been going around like that since he, he was a child. Well, he's been around for 500 years, which is even more incredible. He sound, he's definitely some kind of monster. Wants to create a kingdom of shamans without consulting me? He's got a lot of nerve. I didn't realize that anyone other than me was after how. I had a hard time even finding out his name. How did you discover it? Stuff happened. My reasons may not be as dramatic as yours, but how is our common enemy for sure? Don't worry about it, Liceberg. Feel free to come with us. Thank you. One thing still bothers me. Why would you want Yokun to join? How want Yokun to join him so badly after only seeing him once? Think about it. Renkun's powers were as great as Yokun's in the final battle of the prelims. Perhaps he was only looking for followers when he killed my parents eight years ago. Why wouldn't you have tried to recruit Renkun? Hmm, that's a good point. Maybe he liked yo, yo better? You got a theory, Liesberg? Well, I can't say if it's good. Huh, then who cares? There's no way for us to know. Yeah, where's the chief? Hmm, <laughs> probably taking a nap somewhere. It's that time of day. Our leader is hopeless. <laughs> but I saw it. His shadow on Yokun's face. Is there some special connection between Yokun and how? I hope it was just my imagination. Huh. I mean, tomorrow, where is everybody? They've gone to eat with Liesberg, don't know. They seem to have accepted him. Yeah, I knew right away that Liesberg had a story. I figured they'd understand if they gave him a chance. Everyone has reasons for what they do. I still believe anyone who can see a ghost can't be all bad. This tale troubles me. Do you believe that good exists even in how? What How did was unforgivable, but something must have made him do it. Hmm. You're going back to sleep already? Yo, don't know. Yo, don't know. Yes, I understand. You should leave the area. You mustn't be seen there. Don't worry. We won't we'll move against Yo yet. Yes. Thank you for the report, Mikisa. Our fears have become reality. Follow me, Anna. The time has come for you to learn the whole truth about us. The whole truth? I called you here you know, all the way here to Izumo because you, there's one who will carry on Yashikura name you must know about her fate. Our 1,000 year old story and our true objective. I am reaching the seal on the door of the Forbidden Chamber. The seal of the Temple of Hao. That enshrines our progenitor and ultimate foe, the great seer, Hawa Sakura. And that's the end of the volume. So, yeah, make sure to... Anyway, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all of that, and I will see you next time for more Shaman King. Bye-bye!